Okay, welcome to the second video in the series of Power Strike. This is entitled Power Kick, and it's, it's with a lot of reluctance that I've wanted to actually do kicking within a self-defence role. Uh, we've, we've resisted it greatly on the uh, Pavement Arena series that Jeff Thompson and I have done, and actively in the courses that I take, I really discourage people from kicking in self-defence situations or self-protection situations. Um, and that's again set against the fact that the kicks are the most powerful techniques that you've got. But unfortunately in the street, I've seen some of the best people, the best martial artists, even the best self-defense people, who've resorted to kicking and ended up in a, in a dire, disastrous situation. And it's, and it's set against that background that we're going to look at uh, impact into kicks. One of the problems is when we're in the streets is distance. On the Pavement Arena series and in the uh, Power Strike, the first video, we talk about the conflict distance. That's usually 18 inches. Anybody who's going to mug you in the street isn't going to do it from five feet away, isn't going to do it from a convenient three or four feet away to allow your kicking to come into play. The moment that you move back to get your kicking into play, he'll fill the airspace or he'll just be on you. I used to have a rule when I was teaching self-defense for kicks, and the basic rule is, wherever the guy's hands go, you kick nowhere above the tips of his fingers.